We're about to start a series of videos on applications of rational equations. So in this video, I want to start us off just with a general overview of how do you solve all of these guys, regardless of what specific type of problem uh, it is. So let's, let's go through these steps very fast. And then over the course of the next few videos, we'll go specifically through different types of examples. So number one, first thing you're going to do when you get an application problem is you're going to read the word problem and you're going to try to translate it into a math equation so that you can solve it. Uh, for a lot of students, this is the most difficult part. And we're not, like I said, we're not going to go through the specifics in this video. We're just going to briefly identify a few different um, types of exercises that you might see. So, um, so yeah, these are going to be real life problems. Uh, they might be uh, like work rate problems where, you know, Sam can cut somebody's lawn in an hour and a half but Susie can do it in 45 minutes. So how fast can they cut the lawn working together? That, that type of thing, that's a word problem. And there's a way that you can translate that into a math equation, but not just any math equation, it'll turn out to be a rational equation, which is why we're studying it right now. There's also motion problems, which is where you might have somebody kayaking up a river that might take them two hours, but down the river downstream might only take them an hour. So how long might it take them to go up the river and back? And, and I'm, I'm being sparse with the details here, but you, you get the drift of, of what I'm talking about. Uh, we also have some more just purely um, abstract examples dealing with reciprocals of numbers, because when you take a reciprocal of a number, it turns it into a fraction. So if you had X, the reciprocal would be one over X. If you had that in an equation, it would make it a rational equation, of course. And then we also have um, some variation problems that are pretty common, where you have direct variation and inverse variation. So, um, so we'll, we'll do examples of all of these. And, and again, all these word problems will turn into not just equations, but rational equations. So once, once we set up the equation, then what do you do? Well, then you solve the equation. Um, that, that should be the part we're pretty good at, because we've studied that quite extensively over the last few videos. And then the last thing we'll do when we get our answer, because these are application problems, you have to be real careful with your answer. You have to make sure it falls into what you would call a feasible domain. Uh, feasible domain is basically just a, a domain of answers that would make sense. Uh, I'll just give you a quick kind of off the cuff example. Let's say you're doing a motion problem and you do all the algebra and you set everything up and you solve it and you, and you get a time equal to negative eight. Well, time can't be negative, you know, so maybe that answer wouldn't be valid. So if your two answers were maybe negative eight and positive five, you would toss out the negative eight answer because time can't be negative and your one true answer would be positive five hours or, or whatever the case may be. So, so anyways, you have to be kind of careful with your solutions when you're talking about these application problems. So now that we've kind of gone through that overview, if you go to our next video, we'll start with some of these specific examples and we'll show you how to work each one of them.